Hi there, it's Dr. Bruce Pinker here to talk to you about a really exciting topic, the fastest growing sport in America, pickleball. You've probably heard about it, you may have played it. It's a very exciting sport, it's a lot of fun. There are unfortunately some injuries that can occur and we'll talk about those and how to prevent them. Did you know that pickleball was invented in 1965 on the West Coast on Bainbridge Island in the state of Washington? And it was originally a game for children, a backyard children's game. In 2022, pickleball became the official sport for the state of Washington. Now, it's a lot like tennis in some ways. However, uh, the court that you play on is much smaller. It's less than one third the size of a tennis court. And you use a, a white plastic ball, like a wiffle ball, and you have to serve it underhanded. So um, it's different from a tennis ball, that wiffle ball, and it has to bounce on both sides of the net in the beginning of each game. And to score a point, you must be serving the ball. So it's similar to volleyball with the side out type of rules. Now there are about 5 million Americans playing pickleball. So it's become very, very popular. Now there are some injuries and if you do get injured, we hope you don't, you may have some pain, but you should also look for redness, swelling, bruising, uh, loss of range of motion, stiffness or difficulty standing or walking. The common injuries are sprains, and strain. So sprain, SP, is when you overstretch a ligament and a ligament connects one bone to another, like here to here or in the ankle joint, let's say. Um, a strain, ST, is actually when you stretch out a muscle or a tendon and that causes a lot of bruising. Some of the other common pickleball injuries include plantar fasciitis, which is pain in the heel or in the arch. Uh, even a stress fracture, which can occur in the metatarsal bones here, if you're lunging for a ball to hit it and you come down hard on one of your feet, can cause a lot of pressure and the bones can swell or there could be even micro fractures. You can even have broken toes or broken metatarsals. Um, there's Achilles tendonitis, very common in this sport, in the back of the heel right here, and even turf toe, more commonly found in the big toe joint, where you have a lot of inflammation that builds up if you step off and move really quickly to go hit a ball. So if you get injured, let's remember this mnemonic, price, but protect, rest, ice, compression, elevation. If you should sprain your ankle playing pickleball, get an ice pack, wrap it in a, a little towel and apply it to your ankle Put it up on two pillows if you can, elevate, wrap that, ankle, that ice pack in an ace bandage if you can, and wait for that swelling to come down. Now you can also think about getting physical therapy for your pickleball injuries, or even taking anti-inflammatories like NSAIDs, like ibuprofen, Motrin, Advil, Aleve, but only take those if they're not contraindicated for you because they do have some potential side effects. Um, also, you could get a brace. Sometimes the pharmacy has a good ankle brace. In our office, we have some really sturdy ankle braces that can really support you if you need them. Custom-made orthotics, a great idea if you get that arch pain or the pain in the heel of the foot from playing too much pickleball. And also, you can massage the area to uh, stimulate blood flow. And again, for custom-made orthotics, we make them on a regular basis here at Progressive Foot Care. So also remember with any sport, especially pickleball, warm up properly, stretch out properly, and you wanna wear sport-specific footwear. There are pickleball sneakers, just like there are tennis shoes or tennis sneakers. They have a lot of lateral support for that side-to-side -side motion and the quick back and forth motion that you might be playing on the court with. So just remember, sport-specific shoes, always important for pickleball or any sport. So to recap, warm up, definitely warm up properly, stretch out properly, wear the proper footwear if you're gonna play pickleball, and go out there and enjoy this really fun, exciting sport called pickleball.